You may see the Tizu movie for Kalori last year and thought to yourself, that's not your normal dental video. And that's because Kalori isn't your normal composite either. For the first time in decades, a top dental manufacturer, GC America, has improved not only the important filler side of the composite resin equation, but they've enhanced the underlying chemistry, the monomer side. Today, we're going to hear why Calor is unlike any composite resin you've ever used before. Hi, and welcome to The Den. I'm Dr. John Faluki, and I'm joined today with my good friend, Dr. Mark Lada. Mark is the Associate Dean of Research at a major U.S. dental school. He's also a practicing clinician and a Catapult member. And we're here to talk about a composite from GC America called Calor. Mark, I write and lecture. You do experiments in the lab and lecture a lot. And we're, we're being inundated with composites all the time. This, you know, this composite has these new properties and this new composite has you know, this new property. What really makes Calor, from a, you know, from a researcher's and, and a, a chemist's standpoint, what makes Calor truly a different composite? Well, I think the advertisements and the marketing people for many of the manufacturers that produce new composites really are trying to put a lot more flash into what they're talking about in terms of the properties than is really warranted by what's in the material itself. And that's what makes Calor very unique. Calor is truly a unique and advancement because most composites evolve or have evolved. Calor is actually a revolutionary breakthrough in the monomer chemistry. For the last couple of decades, when manufacturers have tried to improve in composites, what they've really tried to improve were the physical properties, the wear resistance, the resistance to fracture, and really haven't done anything to try and minimize polymerization shrinkage stress. What Calor has done is they've worked on the filler side, but they've also, in conjunction with DuPont, employed a new unique monomer that has properties which reduces polymerization stress. And this is something that's truly revolutionary in the composite field. Okay, now, a lot of composites will talk about shrinkage and, you know, the amount of shrinkage or the amount of, you know, non-shrinkage as, as it may be. So you talk about polymerization stress. Are the words shrinkage and polymerization stress interchangeable? No, they're very definitely different concepts. Volumetric shrinkage, which is what a, what a lot of manufacturers report, is a static property that causes stress, but there are other factors that cause stress. What's important to you and me as a clinical dentist is the fact that when the material polymerizes, it generates stress at the interface between the restorative and the tooth. And minimizing that is important to prevent gap formation and also to prevent postoperative sensitivity and extend the, the life of the restoration. So Calor is unique in that it has both looked at the filler side as well as the resin monomer side in an effort to try and address polymerization stress. Now I know there have been products before and they're very specific in, you know, you need our chemistry, you must use our bonding agent, you have to use it in this certain way. I understand that Calor isn't like that, is that correct? Very accurate, yes, as a matter of fact. Calor is really a very elegantly designed material. It has a truly unique resin in it which absorbs the energy from polymerization to minimize stress at the margin. But it's compatible with all the existing bonding agents that the dentist may use and can be polymerized with conventional LED or quartz halogen lights. It's a comprehensive material really with very few compromises in terms of what the dentist is going to uh, run into. I know one of the things that a lot of people fight is the white line phenomenon. You know, when you get the shrinkage, the enamel rods fracture, you go into polish and you basically kind of melt and weld composite and you know enamel fractured rods back together and you get that white line. So Calor can help prevent that. I think definitely Calor can help prevent that. The volume shrinkage for Calor, is, as, as we talked about before, is low compared to other materials. But this stress reduction, which directly leads uh, the stress that is to the white line that you're talking about, this reduction in stress is significantly greater than even what you'd predict from its volumetric shrinkage. Again, signifying that this new DuPont resin has some very, very unique properties. But ultimately, what we see as clinicians will be improved margins, fewer white lines, and a better clinical result. I think you probably at this point in time have a real good feeling on the science behind Calor, but we also have a Catapult member who's been using it pretty exclusively for quite some time. And we're gonna go to him now. Sam, how do you feel about Calor and what have been your clinical results? Thanks, John. It's great to be on the den. You know, one of the things that I love is telling people about new products 
that benefit me and my patients. Today we're here to talk about Calor. Now Calor is a fantastic product that really has so many great attributes. Chameleon effect, sculptability, low shrinkage, and polishability, just to name a few. Let's talk about chameleon effect. You know, one of the things that I don't want to worry about when I'm dealing with a posterior composite are the number of different uh, shades that I need to use when filling a posterior composite. I've got a busy dental office. What I want to do is be able to have one or two shades that I can go to in a posterior composite and be able to depend on those shades and be able to have them uh, blend into the tooth without a problem. And Calor does that. That's the beauty of Calor. So when we talk about sculptability, it's a very important attribute to, to have in a composite. And Calor delivers. Because when you place Calor, what happens is, is it doesn't slump. It stays where you put it. So when I'm carving anatomy or feathering the composite into the margin, I can be sure it's going to stay there. And that's a great attribute to have in a composite. And that's what we're all looking for today. Next, let's talk about polishability. You know, polishability, whether you're talking about an anterior composite, which Calor is fantastic for, or a posterior composite, I don't want to have to worry about having to go through different steps to polish these, comp these composites. With Calor, all I need is my, my carbide polishing burr, and I'm done. You know, I'm there anyway with the, with the carbide tip. I'm going to polish it. In, a, in the posterior, it's fantastic anterior as well. If you want to go through and do steps with, with different polishing techniques that you have, this is a fantastic composite to be able to polish, regardless of the system you use. I've used a lot of different systems to polish uh, Calor and they all work. Let's face it, we all have a lot of choices when it comes to composites today. And the one thing we want to do is simplify our lives, not complicate it. Calor gives you that simplification. It gives you longevity, quality, and best of all, it gives your patients something to smile about. Do yourself a favor, and if you haven't tried Calor in the anterior or the posterior, give it a try. I think you'll like it. Thanks, Sam. Mark, obviously the science has shown itself. What's the, the, the reason or reasons that a dentist who's doing a combination of anterior and posterior composites should switch to Calor? Well, the great thing about Calor is it incorporates a new technological advancement in a material that has excellent handling, excellent polishability, a great chameleon effect. Now, the dentist may not be able to see the results of that science, but independent studies have absolutely confirmed that the volumetric shrinkage is lower and the polymerization stress is even lower than what one would predict from the volumetric shrinkage. And that's going to provide a real long-term advantage to the dentist. But what the dentist will see is a terrific material that the dentist can use in all ap applications in the mouth. Now we're going to have somebody else come and talk to us about this whole system and, and how it works. And this guy's seen a lot of composites come and go. Tell us, why do you like Calor? Thanks, guys. Hi, I'm Dr. Wynn Okuda. It's a pleasure to talk to you about this product called Calor Composite Resin. You know, Calor is what I call a smart resin. You know, in comparison to some of the other composite resin systems that kind of fight you, Calor really helps you to perform the best work that you can consistently and predictably. When I'm performing a complex anterior aesthetic restoration, it's important to be able to count on a product. Calor is that composite resin system. Whether you're doing a one shade, two shade, or complex layering technique, Calor can make an average dentist look good and a good dentist look great. You're the hero in front of your patient. I think now you can truly understand that Calor is the science behind the smile. Mark, thanks for hanging out with me this afternoon. I appreciate it. It was great being here. Good working with you. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time in the den.